What is going on, everybody? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. We're going to be talking about the real reason why Hassan Reddick requested a trade away from the New York Jets without ever appearing on the field. Never practiced on the field. He never, I don't even know if he ever showed up to the facilities. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's just, it, it's bad news all around. Um, I'm going to read a few reports here and we're just going to kind of digest these and get to the bottom because there's obviously contradicting stuff out there. Someone reports something, some, somebody reports something else, but we're going to be talking about the real reason why and try to get to the bottom of this. Reported by Diana Rossini, trust and communication issues led to this situation between the Jets and Hassan Reddick. The Jets traded for Reddick, knowing he wanted a contract adjustment. All teams interested in trading with the Eagles were told he wanted a new deal. Jets made a below market offer before the trade. Reddick turned it down. The Jets moved forward with the trade without a deal in place. The Jets never made a new offer on a long term extension because they say they were informed by Reddick's reps that he would play under his current contract. Well, obviously, he hasn't played under his current contract. That is not the player side. Reddix can't believe the Jets said they would do a deal and trusted this would get done by camp. A few weeks ago, the Jets called and said they would be willing to rework the current deal if he showed up. From the player side, that's not what they agreed to before the deal, so he didn't show. Now trust is broken by all. Let's just <laughs> let's just take a second. Diana Rossini here is saying the Jets never made a new offer because they were informed by Reddick's camp that he would play under the current contract. But that is not the player side. Reddick is saying that's not true. That sounds like a miscommunication. The bottom line, it sounds like a miscommunication between Reddick's camp and Reddick himself. It's nothing to do with the Jets. That's what it sounds like to me. I mean... Yes, the Jets went ahead with the trade knowing that, I, I don't know, the, the Jets were saying that he would play under the current contract because that is what his reps, that is what his reps told the Jets. But then Hassan Reddick is like, no, 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 that's not true. My reps never told you that. That sounds like, dude, take that up with your reps. That's what it sounds like. Um... That's really what it sounds like. Now we're going to be reading a report by Rich Simony of ESPN. Uh, the Jets released a statement today after he requested a trade. The Jets fired back immediately with a strongly worded statement saying they have no intention of satisfy satisfying his demand. Huge, huge, huge report here. We have informed Hassan that we will not trade him, that he is expected to be here with his teammates. Now he will continue to be fined per the CBA if he does not report. Since the trade discussions back in March, we have been clear, direct, and consistent with our position. Our focus will remain on the guys we have here as we prepare for the regular season. Reddick has already missed 21 days of training camp, a $50,000 fine per day, and so far it seems that he's accumulated over $1.7 million in fines. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. A source tells Rich that the Jets will not negotiate with a player unless he's reported to camp. And Reddick refuses to report unless his contract is upgraded. This is the second trade request in the last six months for Hassan Reddick. Dude, it just sounds like he may be the person that cannot be pleased here. I, that's kind of what it sounds like. Reddick is 29 years old. Uh, is due to make a non-guaranteed $14.25 million dollars. Uh, in base salary this season. The final year of his three-year $45 million contract, he signed with the Eagles originally as a free agent in 2022. So the thing is, is the $14.25 million for this season is not guaranteed. The Jets were apparently willing to guarantee him some of that money, but they won't do it unless he reports to camp. That sounds <laughs> like that's what it sounds like. But judging from Diana Rossini's report, it sounds... The way I'm digesting this, it almost sounds like a miscommunication or communication issues between Hassan and his agents or his representatives, if you want to call them that. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, they need to figure out like, 
Hey, Hassan, tell me exactly what you want me to tell the Jets. If you're not going to speak to them, tell me what you want me to say. No BS. Tell me what you want. Like, why are you not reporting? God, I don't know. It's just a standoff. The Jets aren't going to cave. Dude, you've got to realize every player is replaceable. Okay? Like, now, obviously, there's some cases where you're like a Hall of Fame player or something, but you got to, like, never think that you are not replaceable in a job. You've got 50 other guys looking to take your spot every single day, and you have missed 21 days of football. It's ridiculous. You guys tell me your thoughts. That's the real reason why. Miscommunication between him and his agent, perhaps? I don't know. See you guys.